What I got here is the DR Professional Power Trimmer. It's the um, eight and three quarter horsepower Bridge and Stratton motor. I put those green smaller cutters on there, um, wire line. Um, it worked pretty good. I think I should have used the blue with the deal. What I cut is over here. Now this stuff has to be cut with a brush hog because a lawnmower, riding lawnmower won't work on it. Weed eater will plain absolutely not work. That's some kind of water grass and it tangles. One thing to say about this DR trimmer, it will not tangle on this stuff. What I got is a, um, what I call this is water grass. I don't know what it is. It's real fibery. Lawnmower won't cut it. Regular weed eater won't cut it. Like I said, a brush hog. When you have it sparse like this, it's not worth hooking up that big ass brush hog to cut, you know, a couple pieces of grass or a little spot like that over there. This one I opted to get the self-propelled and the, um, this is the, pull that down, that <clears throat> works your, um, this works your line and this is self-propelled. I got the electric start, it comes with a small battery. So, that starts right up. I want to start it up and show you how it cuts this water grass. Okay, after a couple times, I finally got it started. I don't know what the deal is with that. Here's your self-propelled. that's how you stop it so you can see this grass is really fibery and that dirt really didn't it's really fibery and really nothing wants to cut it but this dr did pretty good on it and i got the um beaver blade that's coming with the chainsaw blade on the solid blade i'm going to do a review on that next weekend on some brush on some sandy property i have 